So here's our video talking about ions. So the question is, what is an ion? Well, simply, it is a charged atom. And what do I mean by that? Well, it means it's either lost or gained at least one or more electrons, uh, which gives it an out-of-balance charge. See, most of the time, our atoms are neutral. So if an atom is neutral, that means that the protons and electrons balance each other out. One is a positive charge, one is a negative charge, so they need to be equal in order to be balanced. And so if the number of protons is different than the number of electrons, then the atom becomes an ion. And so if we have more electrons, then it's a negative ion. And if we have fewer electrons, then it's a positive ion. So let's take a look at the sodium atom. So here we can see the nucleus and uh, electrons floating around in their respective energy levels, their different shells. We've got a nucleus with 11 protons and 12 neutrons, and we have a total of 11 electrons flying around the outside, two in the inner shell, eight in the next level, and then a single one, uh, this purple one, that is flying around by itself. So if we were to take that purple one off, as we've seen, um, if that purple one is gone, then it now it has a, uh, a positive charge because it has more protons than electrons. And since it has a positive charge of plus one, uh, it can react with something that has a negative charge of negative one. And so this is what an ion is and how it can be, uh, or how it is used in a chemical reaction.